In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called counting the atoms in a unit cell. In this problem, we're gonna get a picture of a unit cell. It's got different atoms color-coded in the picture, and then we're asked to figure out how many atoms are actually located inside the unit cell. The only real trick about this problem is that you have to recognize that not the whole entire atom, not 100% of the atom, is actually inside the unit cell. So this problem wants us to focus on the portions of the atom that are inside this cube, and it wants us to ignore portions of the atoms that are hanging out outside of the cube. In this particular one, in this particular um, lattice here, I, I have two different types of atoms. I have some that are located on the edges of the unit cell, so I'm kind of just drawing those edges. Those are the blue atoms in my diagram. I'm gonna call these edge atoms. And if we're looking at an atom that's sitting on the edge, any one of these edges, one fourth of that atom is actually located inside the unit cell, and the other three fourths are hanging outside of the unit cell. So each edge atom has one fourth of an atom inside the unit cell. So all we have to do is figure out how many of these atoms we have that are sitting on the edges. In this diagram, it looks like I have eight. I have eight edge atoms. Each ed edge atom has one fourth of its body inside the unit cell. So that gives me a total equivalent of two blue atoms inside that unit cell eight atoms altogether, each one putting one fourth of its body inside the unit cell. So the other type of atom that I have in this diagram is these two black atoms that are sitting on the faces. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call those a face atom. And for these atoms that are sitting on the faces, so they're sitting on like the flat parts of the unit cell, half of their body is inside the unit cell and the other half is hanging out. So for a face atom, one half of the atom is inside the unit cell, the other half is out. I have two total face atoms. Each one has one half inside the unit cell. So there's gonna be one total atom sitting inside the unit cell for between both of those two black atoms. The only type that is not in this particular figure that you might come across would be an atom on the corner. So I don't have any corner atoms in this figure. A corner atom would be one that would be located right on the corners, like that in these spots right here. Corner atoms, one eighth of their body is inside the unit cell and the other seven eighths is outside. So if you have a corner atom, you're gonna count each corner atom as just one eighth of an atom.